Can you give us an example of how you would interact with somebody? Let's say that you were selling your sales services to me, mm -hmm. and I was someone who sold $10 million products, and I mm -hmm. want to learn how to do mm -hmm. that better. Mm -hmm. If I want to go do that, what are some of the things that you would recommend that I do in a first meeting? And let's okay. actually okay. role play it here. Um, so recommend that you do or recommend that I would do if I were selling you? I guess what, what I would do if I were selling exactly. you. Um, I would turn to look at you more straight on. So that means not the camera, but rather at you. And I would be interested in what you have to say. So I'd begin by saying, Pat, I understand that you may have some interest in growing the revenue for the business this year. Is that true? Is that on the plans? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it a big growth or a moderate or small growth? Big. I want to sell one of these $10 million services to one of my clients. Okay. So you really want to do big ticket selling. And how do you sell $10 million services now? Well, we use sort of the standard techniques of cold calling, hoping that we get in with some people. We try to do relationship selling. Mm -hmm. We use a lot of the techniques that we've believed were the best techniques to use over the years. Mm -hmm. um, but we'd certainly be welcome to know some of the most innovative and cutting-edge research that we know you keep up with. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd be happy to tell you about the research. Let me understand where you're at now. Have you done any $10 million sales recently? Sure. Okay. In the last six months? Sure. Okay. Now, maybe you don't need to mess with it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Tell me about how many you miss. Do you miss a lot? Do you go after a lot that just don't come through? Sure. I mean, if we're in competition, it's typically with big companies mm -hmm. as large as us, as well trained as mm -hmm. us with similar products. Mm -hmm. So, you know, probably like most companies, hit somewhere between 10 and 50% of mm -hmm. the people that we approach. Mm -hmm. So you're closer to the 10% or the 50% figure at 20. this point? 20. Okay. Well, first of all, let me tell you that a 20% closing success rate is nothing to be too ashamed of. I think it can be better. There are a lot of people who give their teeth for 20%, so let me start by saying you're doing some things right. Um, let me ask you, has the number 20 been a higher number in the not-too-distant past? Have you closed a higher percentage mm, of the It's been business? pretty consistent. Consistent. And you mentioned over the years. Have you been doing this for quite a while, Patrick? Mm -hmm. Okay. So consistently 20%. Consistently four out of every five proposals fail. Yes. That's a lot of time and a lot of money in those exactly. proposals. Exactly. How long does it take to do a proposal? They're big projects, so probably 40, 50 man hours, even though we have a reasonable process mm -hmm. at this point. We still have to do you know, the cuts and the pastes and the analysis and run everything by a legal department mm -hmm. because every mm -hmm. time we do a proposal, it's $10 million of you know, mm -hmm. our company's product. There's a big risk that's mm -hmm. implicit there. Mm -hmm. Of course there is. 